of the years, I am handing the uh, fluid mechanics lab. In the fluid mechanics lab, we can uh, go through the next uh, experiment with the polyphymeter. Uh, polyphymeter is one of the most important is a measuring device which measures the uh, flow rate and by using that flow rate we can easily find out the discharge. Uh, most of the cases, uh, especially for the open channel or it may be in a closed channel, we have to use an, uh, we have to find out the uh, discharge. For using the, uh, to find out the discharge, this is one of the uh, important uh, measuring device. So in this me measuring device, first we have the uh, construction of the measuring device. The first one we will take an, a, a pipe, in that pipe we, we made a section, in that section we will place the horrified meter. So in horrified meter we have the uh, smaller diameter, that diameter will be very a 0.5 of the uh, D1 diameter. So after construction of this uh, orify meter, so after this one we can move on to the observation. So in the observation we will first we will uh, take down the area of the collecting tank and second one will be the diameter of the pipe and the third one will be the diameter of the orify meter in terms of meters. Then after that observation we can move on to the uh, tabular column. In the tabular column we have the serial number and we have the monometer reading for time taken and actual discharge and theoretical discharge and a scene. Actually the main of the experiment uh, will be the uh, to find out the coefficient of the discharge of orifying meter. So then first we can take the, the data from the experimental setup uh, in the mm of HD and then mm of HD will be converted into liters of water and time taken for the rising of 10 seconds, 10 centimeters then actual discharge can be calculated by using the uh, formula and critical discharge also by using the formula you can calculate and finally you have to find out the CD. So the horrifying meter of uh, CD will be varies with 0 0.6 to 0 0.65. Then, the next one will be the uh, calculation part. So in the calculation always we have to follow the same uh, procedure because step by step we have to follow. The first step always we have to take a uh, loss of head. Since the loss of head can be represented with a uh, small head will be equal to x into 12.6 meters of water. Then we know that where x is equal to x and we can easily find out the uh, 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 passive gravity of the mercury and passive gravity of the water and minus 1. You will get 13.6 divided by 1 minus 1. So if you calculate this one, you will get 12.6. Directly we have taken 12.6. Move on to the next uh, variable, this is nothing but a Q actual. So this data will be can be interpret here. Then Q actual is equal to A into R divided by T. Here the unit will be meter cube per second. Where area is the correcting time we are taken from the observation and R rising water level, 10 cm rising water level, then time taken. The time taken is very very important. If you miss the time taken or uh, if you lose any time or uh, plus or minus, then we can uh, get the wrong value of uh, coefficient of uh, discharge. That's why we have to concentrate more towards the time taken. Then next one will be the theoretical discharge. The theoretical discharge will be equal to A1 and A2 square root of UGH divided by square root of A1 square minus A0 square where A is equal to A1 is equal to area of the pipe A1 and A2 is equal to diameter of the pipe and also we are taking uh, A0 A0 then divided by A1 square and A2 square this equation is can be derived to the uh, Bernoulli's equation the final equation is nothing but an, a CD value so to find out the coefficient of discharge of orifying meter we have taken actual discharge divided by theoretical discharge after taking the values of you put and subtract and then you get the CD value then you have to take a CD value then we can conduct the experiments now here we are uh, continued part will be the experimental of orify meter and ventilometer and this setup will be the a combined setup of orify meter and ventilometer uh, we have to concentrate only towards the orify meter right so uh, we tell the parts of the uh, the whole setup this is the a collecting tank and this collecting tank will be use the actual uh, uh, discharge and we can see that already they are given the measurement of uh, a collecting tank i think uh, you have to take an a is equal to a is equal to 500 into 250 then you will get the area of the collecting tank and this uh, will be utilized for the to find out the uh, actual discharge
the next important will be the uh, youtube monometer and we, we can see the uh, we have the youtube uh, u shape like that that's why they call it as a youtube monometer and there will be two limbs one is in a right limb and the another one with the left limb and there will be in a center we have the reference line so here we have to take the data from the reference line from above and also from the below and this is very very important this will be gives the values of x value to find out the uh, loss of head the next one will be the uh, orifometer in that orifometer we have uh, two important head losses to find out the uh, pressure right in here we have the two inlet one is an a, a d1 and another one will be d2 or d0 uh, d1 is nothing but an a pipe of the diameter and d0 is nothing but an orify diameter uh, we are using an a, a circular orify diameters or cir uh, circular orify meter we are using then by using this one we can easily find out the uh, coefficient of a uh, discharge and this will be the outlet of the uh, discharge yes now we have to start the experiment now so in this experiment first we have to uh, open this one and this will be closed the vertical will be uh, closed and parallel to the pipe will be open after uh, taking after uh, operating this one we have to close the uh, venturi meter and we have to open the orify meter because why we are using closing this one because some of um, amount of water will be getting into the venturi meter it may be goes wrong so that's why we have to concentrate only towards the uh, orify meter in this orify meter the next after uh, starting of the uh, portion then we have to remove the air bubbles so after removing the air bubbles we have to uh, go through the discharge uh, actually we have to look at with a uh, youtube monometer and in youtube monometer so you can see the difference between uh, right limb and the x limb and always the difference will be the positive that's why we have to take from 0 to uh, 240 plus 0 to 2 uh, 230 so here you have to add up this one you will get the x value in terms of mm of hg so after taking this one then we have to move on to the uh, to find out the discharge now uh, finally so to find out the discharge first we have to close the valve after closing of that valve first you have to see the rising of the water level so here the rising of the water level may be very uh, actually we are considered generally we are considered 10 centimeter or you can take the for a 5 centimeter or 20 centimeter so here average uh, we will go for the 10 centimeter rising water levels here for rising of the 10 centimeter water level we have to take the time taken so we know that in q actual a a is there and r is there r is nothing but an a 10 centimeter rise and with respect to 10 centimeter rise we have to calculate this time here after taking the a time then we have to measure till i think from 27 to 37 we have taken the value and that value will becomes around uh, 15 uh, point 15.15 seconds so after taking this and this trial will be considered for uh, different trials this taken will be from the different trials it will be trial 1 or trial 2 and trial 3 that will be considered by varying the uh, outlet valve of the uh, outlet valve of the uh, motor right so the same repetition can be done for uh, remaining other trials